Okay, y'all. Let's make some potato salad. So I've already diced and peeled my potatoes. I've diced and peeled my potatoes. That's what they look like. And that's what they look like. Hey, YouTube. Hey, Facebook. I also have mashed potatoes, extra potatoes that I have mashed. Okay? More eggs. Celery and onions mixed. Sweet relish. Mustard. Ranch. Ranch packet. Celery seeds. Duke's mayo. Garlic. Onion powder. A little distilled vinegar. And some chives and just a little garlic herb seasoning. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much, YouTube. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. So I hope you all can get into this with me. So I'm using a food processor. I'm also going to use some um, bell pepper, but I'm not going to use it in a food processor. In the food processor, however, I'm going to add some Duke's mayonnaise, some ranch dressing, the sweet relish, the ranch packet, and the celery and onions, and I'm going to process it. How y'all doing today? What a beautiful Sunday it is. I'm doing this dinner um, for my sister-in-law. Y'all know this time last year, she was fighting for her life. So... I just wanted to um, do something special for her. So on the menu today, we've got turnips and mustard green mix, macaroni and cheese, fried corn, um, potato salad, and um, ribs and chicken. <laughs> okay, so now I put some dupes in here. I don't measure um, everything sometimes it's hard to measure uh, I'm adding some ranch dressing you just kind of know how you want the consistency of what you're doing I'm adding the celery and the onions I'm gonna add a ranch packet you make your dressing in your um, potato salad the way you like it. This is how I do mine. And I need my celery seeds. I use celery seeds to make a world of difference in your um, potato salad. Let me put some mustard in here. I'm basically creating a sauce. And some sweet relish. And I know y'all may say something. Oh, she used her hand. Y'all gonna have to get over y'all feelings. This is my food, my house. And I'm sure a lot of y'all feel just like I do. Get the um, bell peppers out for color. I 
I have some bell peppers in here. Y'all doing all right today? Honey, feel like going on. I'm going to add some onions later on and celery just for the sake of um, a crunch. But this is, um, I just added was some chives. sugar now just a little bit not even a fourth just a little bit to balance out the acid and I'm going to add a little lemon juice and lemon juice is good just a little because it also keeps those potatoes from getting too yellow and vinegar helps preserve it so I'm going to add just a little bit of vinegar it all really does balance itself and I need to get my um Paprika. Okay, hold on. Because I want that. Y'all know we like that reddish orange kind of uh, uh, coloring when we, <laughs> when we eat our potato salad, honey. We have to have it. And we're going to put all this together. Hold on one second. Let me find my paprika. Y'all know who be moving stuff, so we ain't going to talk about them. We ain't going to talk about them. But it would be nice if I could find my stuff when I want it. And I need that. I need my pepper flakes, too. And I got those, so... Maybe there's hope that I'll find my paprika because I sure need it. I need that. I need you like the ocean needs the water or it will run dry. I got it. So I'm going to use a little red pepper flakes. I'm just creating a sauce. Just a little bit, not too spicy. Because remember, I'm grinding this up so it's going to intensify it. So I don't need that much. I need... Thank y'all for the super chats, the love. I, I, I appreciate it, honey. I do. I don't even have to ask y'all on, on YouTube to support me financially. Y'all are great. You're just great about it, and I appreciate it. Much love. Much love back to you. Um, I'm going to add some onion powder and garlic powder now. I need the oil. And that's really how it should be because I should be focused on cooking. I need the This is, um, I use some garlic powder. This is onion powder. Every hour I need thee Oh, bless Just a little bit of this, um, I like this garlic and, um, herbal you have to build your seasonings. You have to build your palate up. And I'm creating a sauce. That's all I'm doing. Oh, bless. And if you like to crunch your onions, I'm still going to add a few. You can do that. 
but everybody don't like a whole lot of onions. They just don't like it. Some people don't like raw onions. Some people don't like that. Okay. <clears throat> then I've got to make some cornbread. So I just created this wonderful sauce. I'll let you see it close up. Once I can get it off of here. So I just created a sauce for the potato salad. Everything you want is in your sauce. I didn't add any salt because I bought my potatoes with salt. I'm going to move the food processor out the way so that um, you can see me put it together. They'll be here just a little bit. Okay, so I've already added some bell peppers. Already added the bell peppers. Now I'm going to add some eggs. I like a lot of eggs in my potato salad. I do. It's a great combination. Y'all eat egg salad sandwiches? Okay. Now I'm going to start incorporating my sauce. show y'all how pretty that is when you got all those different specks and and colorings and in there before you add anything else it's pretty now I'm gonna start adding I don't like runny potato salad and I don't know who does but um I'm going to add the extra potatoes and the rest of that sauce. So I'm going to take these extra potatoes that I mashed up just in case it didn't look thick enough for me. And it also operates as a filler so you will have the consistency of the potato that's been diced along with the creaminess of a solid potato without you having to mash them up. Okay. So I made just enough. I don't want to get dirty. Should have had on an apron. Hold on, y'all. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Let wisdom have her perfect work. What is it? Um, my fifth is gonna be here in three minutes. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. I think he's still in the shower. Okay. She won't make it in three minutes if she's just getting in the shower. She just got. She she was in the shower. She's. I think it's coming. Right now, when she gets out of the house, she's going to get dressed. She'll get out of the house, mm -hmm. come over here, okay? She's probably going to do that. Wash those dishes up from here. Okay. Don't mess with that blade, though. I know, it's going to cut you. Yeah. Good. Let's see. Hey. 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 Which one is? Both of them. That's YouTube over here. Say, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Wait, Facebook. what is YouTube? And that's Facebook. Over what? Here. Is this YouTube? That's Facebook. No, I thought that was YouTube. This one is YouTube. And this one is Facebook. Hey, hey oh, that's it, it's no writing on there. No. Come well, on now. I just looked and see. I'm going to show it to y'all. Hold on. I 
And I'm going to add a little more onions in here just for a, a semi-crunch. I remember back in the day, we just only used mayonnaise, but... Have to be that way now. Mom, you still eat that mustard? Yeah. I'm gonna bring the bucket. Avery, bring us phone. I am. Need a little pepper. That tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Huh? No, I'm just talking to them. Then I got me some, um, Hey, Mama. I'm gonna do something. Feel better, Natalie? Mm-hmm. I got that good when shower. Yeah. Give me one. There you go. And I need my pocket. Well, I got three thousand over here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get you close up on here. Come on, Facebook, you first. Let me get you close up on it. Hold on. Look at that consistency. Don't nobody want no runny potato salad. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all back up on here. And I'm going to let you two. Y'all really should start coming over to YouTube some. Because um, it's fun over there too. Give it a chance. YouTube, let me let you see the close up. We're getting ready to make cornbread now. And I'm going to get the macaroni out of the oven. There you go, YouTube. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I see some familiar faces over here. I'm glad y'all over here too. My goal, make sure y'all like. And my goal, YouTube, is like, make sure you share Facebook. And let's get ready to do this um, cornbread. My goal is to get to 10,000 by the, the month of September on um, YouTube. Building it up slowly but surely. Okay, y'all. That's good. All right. Let me get y'all back on the thing. And um, we're getting ready to do cornbread, okay? Very good. Hold on.
Need to get the macaroni out the oven. Macaroni out the oven. And now I'm going to do some cornbread with y'all. How many know how to make cornbread? Me. How many know how to make cornbread? Y'all don't need to watch me make cornbread. Avery, Natalie, give me the buttermilk out the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I like it. Go get me the bottom part of the food processor so I can put it up. Huh? Out the sink. I just washed it. Buttermilk. Yep. Need more than that. Not another one. This cut. So go over there and get me that towel over there. Mm. Look. Right there. So I can wipe it out. Shoot. No, it's buttermilk with a yellow top. See it. I'm, I'm used to a green top. 
uh, this is whole. Is it whole? Whole buttermilk. Oh. Some, uh, some of them have green top. Some of them have it. I got one in there. You did? But put that one in there. I got me one. But I know how you get ready to go. And I just let you take the one that's already frozen. Look and see, ain't it one in there? Um, there it is. <laughs> I don't see one. This thing slides out. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. Put two in there. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do some cornbread. Stuff over here is clean, but I always wipe my stuff out. So I'm doing. Hello. What are you doing today? I'm at Tracy's house. So I got two and a half cups of cornmeal. And I'm gonna put a little sugar in here. Some of y'all don't like sugar in y'all cornbread, but where I grew up, honey, you put sugar in your cornbread. We put sugar in our cornbread. This is a one cup measure. I'm using one egg. I don't need two eggs. I don't need three eggs. One egg. Two and a half cups of cornmeal. One egg. One egg. One egg. I'm using the same cup for my buttermilk if you want the measurements. That's Courtney. Yeah. I'm wanting you to do her laundry with her spoil butt. She's going to church and she's she paying me for it. Plus she likes the way I do laundry. I don't just throw it in the basket and take it home. No, nah, you, you, you keep it. You, you, uh, time you get it out, you start the hanging. Listen, I, I get four or five shirts in the hand and I got hangers already hanging and I'm slipping them through the neck. Because mm -hmm. I, got, I got the neck in my hand. And that, like, give me a little water here. Because I ain't double doing laundry. Um, I really could have used a cup of water. Okay. Well, this will do. This will do. This will do. What I've done so far is, hey y'all, I used uh, three cups of buttermilk. This is the third one. Two and a half cup, cups of cornmeal. One egg. And now I need the canola oil over there. I'm pour a little bit of it in my, um, pour a little bit of it in my skillet over there too. Mm -hmm. And turn it on for me so it get a little hot. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Um, so, 
two and a half cups of cornmeal. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate it. Two and a half cups of cornmeal. One egg. Three cups of buttermilk. And a fourth a cup of water. And now I'm going to use a half a cup of oil. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil. If you don't put oil in your cornbread, it's going to be dense and dry. You can't even warm it up good. You got that eye on? Mm -hmm. You put some oil in there? Mm -hmm. We had church online today, so I was able to get everything done. Just about the time we eat after church on Sunday. So let me show you the consistency of this cornbread. Thank you for the super chats. I appreciate them. That's your consistency. You don't want it too runny and you don't want it too thick. Now they put a you take that and put all over it. Mm-hmm. YouTube, you don't want it too thick. Thank you for the super chats. Okay, recap one more time. Two and a half cups of cornmeal. I love Angie Mama. I'm not finna sit here and tell y'all Martha White or Martha Lily. And any of those is better than Angie Mama cornmeal because I would be lying. So I use two and a half cups cornmeal, three cups of whole buttermilk, and one egg, and I use me a cup of sugar. We eat sugar in our cornbread, don't we, Natty? Mm-hmm. And um, half a cup of uh, canola oil, and you can use half a cup of if you want to. So I'm going to take y'all over to the stove real quick. And that, did you take that one? I'm gonna take y'all. Come on over here. All right. Let me see that macaroni too, that that. I'm ready to get in that macaroni. Do we have to wait for the birthday girl? Mm -mm. We don't. No, this is fine. What's falling? No, it ain't gonna fall. Mm -hmm. No, it just tilts. Like that. Help, I fall and I can't get up. So now, I'm gonna pour my stuff in here. Twelve inch skillet, twelve inch round, and I'll show y'all them greens. Honey, they looking so good in there. All up in there, up in there, up in there, up in there. Let me get you over here so we can put it in. I want my grease to get a little hot. Now, give me a little more grease. Just a little more grease. 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 Where do you want it? Uh, in the skillet. Just a little bit. It expands. Not a whole lot. A little bit more. Okay. It's in the sink. 
It's in the sink over there. It's in there! Mm -hmm. No, she put it over there for you. She Ew. Who put stuff in there? I didn't do it yet. I know. Oh, you didn't do it yet. This is big. Yeah, it's big. Mm -hmm. That's the best towel left for me. So I, I'm letting this get just a little hot. Just a little hot. Because I want this to um seal so I can get that little crunch around the edge, okay? Mm -hmm. Um can you see her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can they see you? They can see the food. This is the macaroni and cheese. Macaroni! I love macaroni. Now I think I got the meat red. I got everything ready, so if you just wanna dig in a corner and not in the middle now. There's no need. I hate when people dig in the middle of macaroni and cheese. Like, ain't nobody coming around the corner. You don't have to with the cheese. I like the crispy part. Yeah. I like corners. I do I'm saying if it's... I do brownies, too. If the cheese is spreaded evenly, you don't have to do that. That's why you can make yourself a roux, you know? Mm -hmm. I can sit back before they come and start mm -hmm. watching me a little move. My, uh, I'm going to just that baked macaroni and mm -hmm. cheese. She said yours, and she's like, man, that was like a soft chain. It was. It was. It was. I don't share when I take food home with me. I don't think I'm sharing. Especially my pies. I got a little pie. And that paint, uh, that, that cover-up thing right there. That go the um, fall. Yeah, I done put one on the uh, Right there, some pie, I think. Where's the bunt cake? What was the surprise in the bunt cake? Uh, cream cheese. Oh, snap. Cheesecake, brother. What? Where's it at? Did you eat it? Did no, I'm giving it to somebody. Oh. Got a chicken. Good. You can warm it up now. This is microwave right there. It's still like this. Mm. Did you see that thing I tagged you in? Uh uh. I tagged you. I haven't been on Facebook. My personal page. Mm -hmm. I ain't been on there. No, I said your name. I don't remember what it was. Uh huh. But it's something to do with the pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. I got the dirt posted. I said, Tracy, I must have this. You're going to make it for me. I have to look at the recipe. Page uh, posted it. Okay, so this is going in the oven. Mm. Maybe I'll have to wait for a minute. That's good, ain't it, baby? What is it? Apple, just apple, apple and pear. I knew it. I told you. It ain't nothing like it, is it? Mmm. Very good. Hey, Natalie, I'm gonna dig in this macaroni for you. Okay. You're gonna have to fix your plate. I'm just gonna let them see the consistency. Give me a, that seems to be the key word today. Consistency. Well, sometimes it is unexpected. Here. Oh! And my back is too. Here you go, baby. Let me let them see y'all. Natalie's gonna let y'all see her cut into this. And pull it out. That way they can see it. Don't be talking about me how much I get, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, do y'all see that butter? Cheese? Oh, Girl. Y'all don't be talking about me. This is for y'all. Let's see it. Come here. Let them, let them see it. Wait, wait, wait. Can y'all see that? Can I see Yeah. Yeah. Let you see it. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 
Oh my goodness. Let me get up on there for y'all. Facebook. And then hold on YouTube. I will use. Um, get that macaroni and cheese. Let me let um let me let YouTube see it. Hold on. Hold on, come on over here, YouTube. Amen. Thank y'all for the super chat. Please share. Go ahead and share. Please share my video. Natalie, I got it turned. Um, Natalie, the yams are right here. Oh, yeah. Um, the real there. You got to get a knife. I was happy with the macaroni potato and cheese. Potato salad is over there. Corn is over there. I don't know. Let me get over here. Okay, y'all. Let me get over here. Okay, y'all. So, I enjoyed y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed me. Natalie, will you come move this bag so I can sit down? Mm-hmm. And we got yams. We got greens. We got we got yams and greens and macaroni and cheese, potato salad, fried corn, chicken and ribs, mm. and cornbread. Oh my goodness. I don't never know how long I cook cornbread. Let me give you a key word to cooking cornbread. You're gonna start to smell your cornbread. If it jiggles and it wiggles. The second thing is if it's jiggling, it's not ready. But when cornbread is almost done, it'll start browning itself. You don't even have to put it on broil, okay? And the oven is on 350. 350. I'm cooking the cornbread on 350. Thank y'all for the love over here, YouTube. Thank y'all. So YouTube gives me super chats, just like how you all used to give stars. They have um, monetized me, and I appreciate that. You can smell it. You'll start smelling your cornbread. Jean, come on and get your plate and sit on the porch. I couldn't see any comments while I was cooking. Hey, Lisa Noen, come on over and get your plate. Well, we don't worry about what nobody say. People can say what they want to say. The reality is, jealousy is like witchcraft, and it'll make people say some of the most foolish things. So don't argue with them. They just got other issues going on. Y'all remember it used to be a song that say, Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> don't you wish, honey, that your macaroni was good as mine, don't you? Yeah. I promise y'all, if somebody was close by and could come and taste it, they'll tell you. I can't worry about what others think. Uh -uh. Take my class. Take my entrepreneur class. I'm scheduling it for September the 12th. My entrepreneur class, September the 12th. Why don't you come on over where the table is spread and um, be a part of uh, the uh, creative family of YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, and Facebook. Uh, also, even if you don't want to be on those entities, make sure your business is in order. And business be men, that's plural, men and women. So let's just make sure that we got our stuff together. We know how to go and have it, what we want. I don't care if it's a washing mat, if it's a dry cleaners, if it's a car wash, hair salon, beauty supply, clothing store, whatever it might be. Let's just make sure you're doing the things right so that you can be successful. Thank you for the mean face. Mean face, I love you so much. You know, um, if you want to reach out to me and inbox me uh, or, or I mean, email me um, why I should unblock you, then maybe we'll talk. But until then, um, you got to be careful what you say. Uh, you got to have accountability. Yeah, and so blocking you all is accountability for you coming on people's pages, being mean and rude and disrespectful. Disrespectful to the people that I call my friends. So I'm the cook and they're my friends. And if you want to argue with them, you can't be on this page. You go watch somebody else. Let me turn it around, Natalie. Got her plate fixed. Oh, Lord, Natalie. 
Mm. Hold on one second. You ain't gonna never eat no vegetables. You the non-eating vegetable. You ain't got no macaroni. I mean, you ain't got no corn. Mm -mm, corn gets my teeth. Potato salad? Mm -mm. You don't want no potato salad. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. Let me see how pretty those ribs is. They just fell apart. I didn't I really even need a knife. Mm -hmm. Look at that. How you doing that? Just fell apart. Mm-hmm. Mm. Natalie is the starch queen. I have to leave before Eddie gets here. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead if you want to. Yeah, I got his ribs. <laughs> well, I'm going to go over here and talk to YouTube for a little while, Facebook. So, um, I love y'all. I'm the cook, and you're my friend. Y'all stay on YouTube. I'm going to talk to y'all for a little bit. Thank y'all for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Uh, enjoy your life. Enjoy your family and enjoy your food. Eddie back. Yes, yeah, she been in your real. <gasps> All minds clear. Uh, stay on YouTube. All minds clear Facebook. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart <laughs> be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. If you want to see me more, come on over to YouTube. If not, enjoy your Sunday. I might go on my uh, new blog page, Tracy K. Mitchell, later. I might. I see y'all. Bye. Eddie, yeah, I only got a little bit. I didn't get okay. all of them. I'm not doing all minds clear yet over here. So for you all, um, I wanted you all to know that I am do am doing a uh, business class. It's an entrepreneur class, and it's going to be, um, I don't know why I look so foggy over here. Um, you need to put them in the stove? Uh -uh, I don't want them in the stove. I'm just going to warm them up in the microwave because I don't want them to dry out, none of it at all. Yeah. No, I'm doing it my way. Cause they always dry out. <laughs> so anyway, you two. Natalie ain't gonna leave no macaroni. Natalie told me, "What did you tell me last week?" Oh my God, I didn't think about these going together. You had all that oh working together. What was it? Short ribs, macaroni. You had corn, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, you did, and yams. You mixed it together. Yeah. Uh -huh. Natalie good. don't like turnip greens and collards. She mm -hmm. eat them. She is a starch eater. I just now started eating them. The camera is better on Facebook. Well, it might be the phone. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Well, I can go off and come back on. Natalie, turn that light on. Can y'all see me all right? I don't think, I think it's the phone. Let me switch over to my other phone. I'm going to come right back on here, okay? Right back on here. So y'all pop back on.